One of the world's most controversial theories is that there could be another universe somewhere out there. I mean somewhere far away from the ends of the earth, where we all exist in parallel, but as different personalities. But how true could this be? Stay tuned to find out. The theory of parallel universes has been around for a couple of decades, and understandably, most people including the so-called experts have looked at it through the lens of radicalism, because in the end, as humans, we're not exactly known to like the things we don't understand. But over time, as science continued to evolve and less conventional scientists emerged, the discussions around this subject took a different twist. We seem to have moved past the era of debating the existence of parallel universes, and there seems to be a genuine sense of belief that someday soon, we'll find this mystery world. Or perhaps they might find us first. History recognizes Aristotle for many things, but one thing that's not really been publicized about him is how he was one of the first people to trigger the conversation around parallel universes. The Greek philosopher first gave his opinion on the matter in the 4th century, saying it was impossible for multiple worlds to exist because according to him, every solar system needed a prime mover to keep it going. Not long after, Epicurus published a rejoinder contradicting Aristotle's opinion. Based on our knowledge of the existence of infinite atoms, the Greek philosopher and sage who founded Epicureanism proposed that there could be several parallel and unparallel universes, some of which could support complex life like our Earth. His argument brought an interesting perspective to the discussion, but just like Aristotle's opinion, it was supported by zero observational data, and this ultimately meant that the conversation would linger on for centuries to come. More recently, contemporary experts like Professor Carl Sagan have waded in on the issue. The American planetary scientists and author who doubles as the pioneer of the Cosmos TV series put forward a principle of mediocrity that aligns with the thoughts of Epicurus. He believes that our solar system isn't as exclusive as we've made it seem, and that if we search the right places, we'd find billions and billions of stars, galaxies, and strange worlds that could harbor life as we know it on Earth. As it was in the 4th century, Sagan's opinion was immediately countered by John D. Barrow and Frank J. Tipler. These made substantial arguments that went against the ideas of the anthropic cosmological principle. The basis of their argument was simple, but quite relatable. According to them, even in our own universe of multiple worlds, our Earth remains the only known life-friendly planet. Hence, the idea of multiple verses in their books is something that is beyond our spectrum and should not even be considered. But some new and emerging theories in the science world suggest otherwise. Recent findings believe that we're not alone, and in not too distant time we'll discover the other intelligent creatures dwelling on our universe and even beyond. As its name suggests, the parallel universe hypothesis, otherwise known as the multiverse theory, is one of the theories pushing this agenda. In layman terms, this theory predicts that our universe is flanked by many other distinct and similar universes. Epicurus would be excited in his grave to receive this news. The opinion he expressed in the 4th century is backed by nothing but the potential existence of infinite atoms. But these new theories seem to have more depth, and they're backed by some empirical evidence. The major difference between Epicurus's raw idea and the current theory is the existence of levels. For level 1, it is believed that if you travel far enough, you'll get back home. From hindsight, we know well enough that space is a massive cosmic phenomenon. So, it is very likely that other planets similar to our Earth would exist within it. As a matter of fact, scientists believe that these potential infinite universes that we talk about might contain infinite planets, with some of them replicating the exact same events that occur on our Earth. The idea is both crazy and exciting. Imagine that some hundreds of billion kilometers away from Earth, there's a creature that looks just like you and repeats everything you do on Earth. Think of it like having an identical twin that has the same clothes as you, wears the same haircut, and does the exact same job that you do. That would be crazy, right? Well, scientists think otherwise, and you might want to keep an open mind about it, because who knows? Your identical twin from a parallel universe might just sneak up on you. But there's no need to be scared just yet because whoever that twin is, he or she would have to find a way to travel faster than the speed of light. Speaking of the speed of light, it is the singular most significant barrier in the cosmos. Light started at the same very second that the Big Bang happened. This was about 14 billion years ago, and since then, 
which in turn means that we cannot see beyond 14 billion light years. At level 2, things get a little more crazy. The principle of this tier states that if you go far enough, you'll stumble on a mystery wonderland. This indirectly suggests that the regions of space are constantly undergoing an inflation phase, and due to this inflation, the distance between our universe and other universes around us is continually increasing at an exponential rate that's faster than the speed of light. Hence, they're unreachable. Generally, the theory of level 2 parallel universes is supported by two hypotheses, namely, the eternal inflation and echorotic theory. From past knowledge, we know that the quantum fluctuations in the early universe's vacuum energy triggered other bubble universes across everywhere. And gradually, these universes evolved through the necessary inflation stages at different rates. In the initial stages, these universes are understood to be at a maximum energy level. But another chaotic inflation postulates that the initial condition can be chaotically established as any energy level, which may have no maximum, and the results will still be the same. Based on these findings, we can infer that when inflation begins, it produces an infinite number of universes. However, the echorotic model remains the only non-inflationary model that's credible. That's quite interesting considering that it's a new and speculative idea. But you know, science doesn't always work the way we expect. The level 3 parallel universe theory is possibly the biggest evidence of this statement. According to the principle of this theory, you can run into yourself by standing on the same spot. It's perhaps the most awkward science theory you'll ever come across. And it's no surprise that it shares close ties with other weird concepts like quantum physics. Another strange fact about level 3 parallel universes is that they occur in the same space and time as our own universe. So while we're unable to access level 1 and level 2 universes, we're constantly interacting with level 3 universes. Every moment of our lives here is directly replicated there. All our actions or decisions directly or indirectly solidify our present self into an infinite number of personalities that are all aware of themselves. So, apparently, the only personality that is left in the dark is you. Things get even more complex at level 4. Interestingly, the entire concept of this theory is hinged on different mathematical formulae. While this may sound like an overbearing ambition to discover other universes different from ours, but in reality, any universe that's mathematically possible has a good chance of existing in real life. The very fact that level 4 exists theoretically further raises our hopes of discovering parallel universes sometime in the near future. And as you'd expect, NASA is doing everything it can to make this possible. The commitment to unravel mysteries like this is why NASA has continued to explore the depths of space since the 1950s. Currently, the space agency is intensifying its efforts, even extending its search scope to the far corners of Antarctica with the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, otherwise known as ANITA. The project was a result of positive collaborations between NASA and several partners across the globe, including the famous University of Hawaii. Basically, ANITA is a stratospheric balloon equipped with sophisticated radio antennae, which are pointed back to Earth to detect radio waves emitted by very rare high-energy neutrinos. Cosmic scientists have a special interest in neutrinos because they are the only known particles that can travel through the vastness of space to reach Earth and still remain unattenuated at all energies. This makes them the perfect indicator to hunt down ultra-high energy universes. Anita is reported to have discovered a high-energy neutrino emitted from the Antarctic ice. But scientists can't seem to agree whether or not the neutrinos were traveling from a parallel universe or a universe where time runs backward. And for all we know, the neutrinos may have been produced by a completely different cosmic entity that's not a universe. But regardless of the controversies around JT, the discovery of neutrinos by Anita is a welcome development. It shows that we're headed in the right direction in our search for extraterrestrial life. And more importantly, it implies that the era where we discover parallel universes is incredibly close.